Guys, Champions Fishing here. Uh, just want to do a real quick video today. Now, we say real quick, so it don't mean like 30 seconds, but we're going to do just a real quick video looking at the Champions Fishing Fleet um, that's coming up. Of course, one of the boats is Adams, Adam Chapman, and um, that'll be, I'll show you his boat. But uh, I made some changes to what I am doing and how I am going to fish on the water going forward here. And so with that in mind, guys, stay tuned because right after this, you're gonna see what's going on. Hey guys, so kayak number one is going to be a 2021 Patriot Edition. Uh, number 123. Matter of fact, this boat, I don't think it's ever been in the water. If it has, maybe one time. But I picked this up in a trade that I did recently, and I really, uh, I've had a Bonafide before, so this is not a new boat, new platform, but the Patriot Edition really is something that I uh, love, uh, just because I am a, and I was in the Marine Corps many years ago. And so I've had my own kayak for a long time, and it finally came available to me, but this is the Bonafide SS-127. Um, went ahead and put my Yak Attack rod holders on here so that they're ready to roll. They're already bolted in. So I've got two uh, rod holders that are going to be on here pretty much permanently. Uh, plenty of room in the back for my cooler. Um, with the Bonafides, you do get the two scuff of plugs. You get two scuff of holes in the back. You've got an access plate here. Uh, you can put power pole, rudder, torpedo, whatever you want. And that, my plan for this boat here is this is gonna be mainly my lake boat. I will use it some on the rivers too, but I do have another boat that's specifically for the rivers that I will probably fish out of a lot. It's a little bit cheaper of a boat, but it's a nice boat nonetheless. So back here in the back, we've already got the flex wings installed. Uh, on, it's a little bit dirty right now, but like I said, it's never, uh, it's never even been in the water. It's it's still pretty pretty well brand new. I mean, the little, little scratch here from moving it, but you know that's going to happen. It's plastic and it's, they're very durable, so not uh, not that big a deal. But yeah, that's the this is the rear tank well. This boat's thirty three and a half inches wide. I believe it's thirty three and a half or thirty three seventy five, so it's close to thirty four. The seat. Probably one of the most comfortable seats on the market is this bona fide seat. I've sat in many. This one I miss the most. Uh, I love how this bar here for the lumbar area is back further. So it's not like right up there in your uh, back. This seat's contoured here, as you can see. So when you sit in here, it fits your back really well. It's high back seat, very cushiony, very good, very soft. So coming up here, Underneath, uh, you have this removable, excuse me, this right here, this drawer that slides in and out. You just take and unclip that right there, get that loose, and then that'll slide all the way up. So you can put a couple tackle boxes under there, three or four, and you're good to go. Uh, there is scupper plugs underneath here, so you don't have to worry about stuff uh, you know, getting water on your in this tray or whatever, unless you just take a real big splash. But I don't typically run scuppers anyway, but uh, they're there if you do want to. You get two up, two here, two here, two under the seat, and two in the rear tank well. I've had a bona fide before. I don't get any water really inside it uh, unless I stand up, but it's not that big a deal. So both very stable. Uh, we'll do an on the water review here soon, but it's very stable. Uh, foot pegs come with that nice uh, decking on it. One thing I like about Bonafide is they give you plenty of tracks throughout the boat, uh, both sides there. So if you want to mount your fish finders here, you can. Some people mount it on the pod. I left the pod at home. Uh, in this in this video, so it's not in here, but it will be when we do the on the water video. But um, you know, a lot of people mount their fish finder on top of the pod. I probably won't mount it on top of the pod, 
but I will mount the transducer when we get another unit. We're probably gonna get the 106 from Garmin and then put live scope on it as well. Uh, so we'll probably get that, put that there, and then we'll put the live scope over on the side. And then that way we can adjust it uh, with, you know, the, uh, the mount that we put on there. Coming up to the front, you've got the front hatch. Another thing about the Bonafide is you can get up, reach your hatch while you're on the water. Uh, you can see a little bit of moisture in there. Of course, it's been sitting outside. This does come out, this tray does, so you can put some stuff inside uh, the hole if you want. It's got a little bit of rainwater in here. Nothing much to worry about, though. For sure, we'll get that out eventually. And you just put this back in. This just sits in here real nice, so you can, you know, put soft plastics or whatever in there if you want. You can um, access it from this side as well. Again, like if you want to put rods in here from the front, again, you just take that out, stick your rods in there. You can travel down the road with your rods in your boat. All right, so up front here as well, you've got paddle park here. You can also lay your rods uh, underneath this or on top of this. And it's got like a little divider here, just keep them spaced out front handle up here a couple pad eyes up here you can always take those off put something else on if you want but uh we'll just leave them on this is the bow of the boat so we can put a motor up here if we wanted to more than likely what we're going to do is run just a bixby off the back so that's the bonafide ss 127 second boat in the lineup i don't have the seat for it this is adam's boat this is the jackson liska again for it you can go and look at all the, the information online i'll drop a, a link to jackson below uh, this boat comes plenty of plenty of track here as well you've got the front hatch again you can access that from up here you can store rods in there um if i had a grievance for the boat is it don't have the where this raises up but other than that it's not that big a deal i did see where somebody talked about the holes being here for the bungees and that letting water through the only problem with that, that i see with that theory is that there's a big a big lip right here right here so that you don't have to worry about water from these holes because it is on the outside edge and any water will just drain down the sides so i think that theory is going to be squashed out so moving on back you've got a place here for a stand-up assist leash you've got a track mount right here this hatch here opens up. It does have a scupper hole in here. I kind of think that should be taken out or just plugged up. That's just my opinion. But I don't know why they would put one there. Moving on back. Again, you got plenty of width across here. I think it's like 34 inches wide. You got your place for your seat to go. Now, the cool thing about this is you can trim your seat by just loosening these up, these little knots, uh, bolts here. And trim your seat four and a half so got uh six scupper holes right here one in the tank well two flush mount rod holders and then of course you've got your uh yak attack track in the back there to mount your power or your uh flag or whatever you can put uh something on the back of this one as well i'll come around and then we're going to talk about this last boat real quick all right so moving back here you can put a rudder on this as well. You could also put a uh, Torquedo, anything like that on, on this kayak as well. This is a Jackson Liska 2021 edition. So we got the Bonafide SS-127 Patriot edition, which is my boat. We've got the Jackson Liska, I wanna say it's 12 foot. And then beside of it, we have my other boat, it's a 2021 perception outlaw now this is going to be my primary river boat uh cool thing about this boat is you can it's got this big flat deck space back here so i'm going to actually mount a um, track back here and then you know we'll uh use it just to put our flag on when we're out on the river we're doing a river tournament if i don't take the ss-127 more than likely i'm going to be fishing in that boat lakes or rivers this is going to be an extra boat we somebody wants to go fishing with us they don't have a kayak uh, 
we'll have this kayak. Coming up here, you've got the double barrel rod, rod tubes on both sides, so you can put your four rods in here. You got tank well uh, scuppers right here. Uh, kind of interesting design, they're recessed there so water can just flow right into them and go out. You've got a couple scuppers up underneath the seat. Now, more than likely, I'm going to plug those two up and then I'll leave the rest of these open. That way I can store stuff up underneath the seat. I don't have to worry about getting it wet. You've got uh, some track right here. They also serve as handles. You've got a nice area here for a cup holder. A couple, you know, 3,600 Plano boxes will fit in here. Plus you can put stuff up under the seat. Supposedly with this seat, and it's a really easy uh, seat to maneuver. You just pull these bungees off like this. And then of course the seat will go all the way back. And then of course you can take those bungees off and then you can sit the seat right down in here. I doubt I'll ever do that, but you can put a cooler here and sit on the cooler if you wanted to. I probably won't do that. I don't know, we'll see. But that's the seat. Again, it just sits right back in there in its spot. It is a pretty high seat. It's not as high up as the Bonafide, I don't believe. Uh, coming up here again, pretty flat open deck here. You got plenty of width for, uh, you know, space up here on the kayak. Again, just lots of room. Perception did a really good job with this boat. If I were to look at the hull and compare the hull, it looks very similar to the SS-127 uh, on there. So, uh, you know, who knows? But anyway, that's the front. I believe this is for like uh perception accessories so you can like take this off and just screw stuff right down into it there's several of those throughout the boat there's those two there uh the one right there in the middle so three of those and then like i said there's room back here you can put tracks on if you want to so that's the perception outlaw 11.5 up here in the front getting molded in handle easy to grab you've got a little place here you can put stuff in and of course these just you know with the bungees uh, if you wanted to take that off you could but i'll probably just leave it on there that way i can just throw some stuff up under there and it stays you know shaded a little bit and then we're good to go so guys that is the three kayaks in our lineup so the perception outlaw 11.5 the jackson liska 2021 and then the Bonafide SS 127 Patriot Edition in blue. I really love blue. Blue is my favorite color, so this boat's going to be really, really, really sweet for us, and we're looking forward to it. So, so guys, we're going to wrap up the video. Y'all like, share, and subscribe. That's the three boats that we're going to be running next year. Um, I probably am going to end up getting a Hobie at some point, but I'm still keeping these two boats. That way, I'll have three uh, kayaks. That way. Again, if people want to go out on the water with me, then I've got plenty of boats to go around and we can do that. So, but guys, we're excited about it. Y'all stay safe, stay strong. Remember always, you are a champion. So be one. And don't forget, Christmas is around the corner. So Merry Christmas to you and your family. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. That's my nephew, Andrew, in the video there. But that's one more final shot of all three of the kayaks there together. So guys, we will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.